The Trojan War More than a thousand years before Christ, near the eastern end of the Mediterranean, was a great city, very rich and powerful, second to none on earth. The name of it was Troy, and even today, no city is more famous. The cause of this long-lasting fame was a war told in one of the world's greatest poems, the Iliad. And the cause of the war went back to a dispute between three jealous goddesses. The evil goddess of discord, Ares, was naturally not popular in Olympus, and when the gods gave a banquet, they were apt to leave her out. Resenting this deeply, she determined to make trouble, and she succeeded very well indeed. At an important marriage, that of King Peleus and the sea nymph Thetis, to which she alone of all the divinities was not invited, she threw into a banqueting hall a golden apple marked for the fairest. Of course, all the goddesses wanted it, but in the end the choice was narrowed down to three. Aphrodite, Hera, and Pallas Athena. They asked Zeus to judge between them, but very wisely he refused to have anything to do with the matter. He told them to go to Mount Ida, near Troy, where the young prince Paris, also called Alexander, was keeping his father's sheep. He was an excellent judge of beauty, Zeus told them. Paris, though a royal prince, was doing shepherd's work because his father Priam, the king of Troy, had been warned that this prince would someday be the ruin of his country, and so had sent him away. At the moment, Paris was living with a lovely nymph named Inoni. His amazement can be imagined when three appeared before him the wondrous forms of the three great goddesses. He was not asked, however, to gaze at the radiant divinities and choose which of them seemed to him the fairest, but only to consider the bribes each offered and choose which seemed to him best worth taking. Nevertheless, the choice was not easy. What men care for most was set before him. Hera promised to make him lord of Europe and Asia. Athena, that he would lead the Trojans to victory against the Greeks and lay Greece in ruins. Aphrodite, the fairest woman in all the world, should be his. Paris, a weakling and something of a coward too, as later events showed, chose the last. He gave Aphrodite the golden apple. That was the judgment of Paris. Famed everywhere as the real reason why the Trojan War was fought.